For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The word of God proclaims that God in his love, past tense, has given us something while we are living. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible says that man is a sinner. He is born into sin. For all have sinned come short of the glory of God. And if you were to die in your sin, if you were to die without Jesus Christ, if you were to reject God's gift, if you were to join a religion not approved by God, you will die and go into a place called hell. Now God is not willing that any should perish. God does not enjoy throwing men into hell. He has given us a gift. He has shown us his love through Jesus Christ. And those that are saved, the Bible proclaims to go in all the world and preach the gospel. To tell the people what God expects and what God has already done for them. Because many churches, many TV dials, maybe radio preachers do not preach the Bible. And they may get some funny ideas on how to get to heaven. One funny idea of going to heaven is everybody goes to heaven. And yet the Bible says... Broad is the way that leads us into destruction, and many, many go the broad way into destruction. That don't sound like everybody goes to heaven to me. And straight is the gate that leads us into life, and the few, it doesn't sound like everybody goes to heaven. So, what if I were to burn candles, join the church, get baptized, do this, do that, not of works. Least any man should boast. And that the only way to get to heaven, to God the Father, the Bible proclaims by Jesus alone, out of his mouth, Jesus says about himself, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says he's the way, it's not being a Baptist. When Jesus says he's the truth, well, there's got to be a lie. And when Jesus says he's the life, there's got to be a death. For God so loved the world, past tense. Another lie that you will hear is that God hates the sin and loves the sinner. If he loves the sinner, why does he cast that sinner into hell? Because that sinner has rejected the love gift of Jesus Christ for eternal life. You see, people are cast into hell because they reject Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Without Jesus Christ, you do not have life. Let me tell you what the Bible says. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. 
Salvation is not ever what man can do. It is what God and what Jesus Christ has done, being God himself. You must come to Jesus Christ in faith to believe the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Because you've got a sin condition. And since all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, not all will go to heaven. For the Bible says, God speaking, Be ye therefore holy, for I am holy. And you cannot do that because you're a sinner. And because you have no righteousness, for there is none righteous, no, not one. You got a problem. You're not going to heaven because you're not holy. You're a sinner and you have no righteousness. So not everybody goes to heaven. And yet the love of God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Wait a minute, you said not everybody's going to heaven, but... There are some that will go to heaven, correct? And the means that I will go to heaven upon rapture or death of this body, I rest it all upon the finished work of Jesus Christ. It is nothing that I have done. God is not going to say because you preach, you're going to heaven. Preaching don't get you into heaven. Giving money don't get you into heaven. Being good, for there is none good, no, not one that doeth good. That can't do nothing for you. And the fact is, you're going to die. And you cannot die and thinking, I am so great, I'm going to heaven. You're going to be fooled to find out you're not. Unless you do what the Bible tells you to do. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now I didn't say eat Jesus Christ. I said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And you were born in sin by being born of your mother. And because you were born does not give you the authority to go to heaven. Going to heaven. The merit of going before God is settled by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There are no Baptists in heaven. There are no Catholics in heaven. There is no religion in heaven. There are no good works in heaven. There is Jesus Christ seated upon the throne at the right hand of God in heaven. And that Jesus Christ that is on the throne... bears in his holy body five, if not more, marks of his earthly life for our sins. The Bible proclaims that in his hands are still the holes being nailed to that cross. The nail prints in his feet are still there today. The holiness of Jesus Christ is still marred by our iniquities and our sins. The wound in 
this side <laughs> is still there because you are the sinner and he suffered and died that you might have eternal life. You're not going to walk up to that Jesus and say, Jesus, look how good I am. For the Bible says there's none that doeth good. No, not one. The righteousness that you need to get to God is the righteousness of Jesus Christ. There is no other substitute. You can only honestly say, I am going to heaven by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the gospel. That's the gospel. The Bible proclaims as Christians go out in all the world and preach the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Upon that cross of Calvary's hill. The sacrificial lamb of God which died for our sin. And when you put your faith and trust in that work upon the cross of Calvary. God will write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life to get reservations into heaven. And if you give money to a charity, there is no name in the heavenly reservation book of the Lamb of God. If you attend church, that does not get you into heaven. If I were to attend a church for God, well, which church? There are a dime a dozen plus tax. I could sit here for five to ten minutes naming name of churches. And if we were to get into the denominational and non-denominational, then we'll have to get to the individual name of churches. And then the offsuits of those churches. So it can't be a church that will save your soul. There's too many of them. We are clogged with churches in America, and yet Jesus Christ is not preached. Jesus Christ is not exalted. Jesus Christ is not the all in all. Jesus Christ is not even welcome here in Daytona Beach. And how many of you are going to sit in services tomorrow and hating Jesus being preached on Saturday? That's kind of weird. Kind of odd. You'll come up to us and say, well, that's not what Jesus would do. What kind of Bible are you reading? What kind of church are you attending? Because this is exactly what Jesus would have done. You don't even know that Jesus preached from a boat to people on the beach. You don't realize Jesus sat down on a mountain and preached to all the people. And yet, your Jesus is so far and wide of what the biblical Jesus is that Paul says you need to be aware because there are other Jesuses out there. And if you don't have the correct biblical Jesus, you are not saved. And you will not go to heaven by the wrong Jesus. You will go into hell burning by church attendance. God will light your giving money with the flames of hell without the biblical Jesus in your faith and belief and in your heart. So if you were to ask, 
What must I do to get to heaven? It's by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Outside of nothing else. It has been all finished by the love of God. For God so loved the world that He gave that God gave are you going to tell me you're going to heaven by out giving what God has given really if I read the Bible correctly God gave us his son that son is God God is the son you're going to outgive God who gave himself. What account are you going to claim that you can outgive God in order to go to God's heaven? He said, Well, God, look at my works. Look how well I do. Again, you're going to place yourself against God who was brutally treated, brutally suffered for our sins and our iniquity, nailed to a cross, whipped. And you're going to say what you do is better than God to get to God's heaven. You failed. You cannot outgive God and you cannot out do good to God. And you're not going to go to heaven because you think you're going to go to heaven. God does not care what you think. As a matter of fact, in the book of Genesis, God proclaims that our thoughts are evil and wicked. How are you going to pro up, oppose a holy God by the brain that God has given you and he has declared that your thoughts are wicked and evil? That he has proclaimed in his word that you're going to approach God by your works and God says no one does good works. I'm here to tell you without Jesus Christ in faith and belief, you are not going to heaven. You will go to hell and you will burn in hell for eternity with your false belief and religions. There are good people in hell today. There are proper people in hell today. There are people in hell who have rejected Jesus Christ as their Savior. Today. And there are vile, wicked human beings. The putrid of the earth who are in heaven because they put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. People you would not ever think that would be in a place called heaven, they are there because of the finished work of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And your good people are in hell because they would not believe on Jesus Christ. So it's not what we think, it's not what you believe, it's what the Bible says. Names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life by the finished atonement and belief upon the finished work of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Now I'm, I'm speaking generally to adults. I'm not talking about children who do not have not acknowledged sin. I'm 
talking to adults here on the street. And you know you do wrong. God has given you a conscience that when you have done wrong, oh, I feel bad. That your conscience acknowledge you are wrong, you are a sinner. And unless you take care of those sins, you are not going to heaven. Now, I am going to heaven by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. My sins are washed in the blood of the Lamb. I will be given a Christian judgment, the judgment seat of Christ. I will be given a new body, a new nature. And I'll tell you what, I don't want you in heaven if you're still a sinner. I don't want you to bring those sins into a holy, glorified place. And I thank God He will not allow you into heaven being good. I thank God He will not let you in heaven by what you do. Because I know if God's going to let you into heaven by Jesus Christ, we will be made new and there will be no more sin, no more suffering, no more wars by the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. And to hell with your works, to hell with what you believe, to hell with your giving, if you don't want to believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. And yet we stand here to tell you how not to go to hell. And not going to hell is by Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ alone, who suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. Hell is down, brother. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you're not going to boldly approach the throne with what you have done or what you will do. God will not allow it. Now you'll stand at the great white throne, but today that's not where you want to go in the church age. The love of God. The love of God is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. Love that's past tense. You will get to heaven by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. If you want your own merit, you want your own goodness, you will get and deserve hell for all eternity, and there you will burn for all eternity for not believing on Jesus Christ as your Savior, as your Lord, as your payment for your sins. The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. There is no access to God outside of Jesus Christ. No matter what you think, no matter what you believe, if it's outside the Bible, you are wrong. Come on! You are a created being by a creator. And the Bible says, are you going to step up to your creator and tell him what to do? As a piece of clay, are you going to tell the potter, what are you doing? What gives you the right?
And this is not a popular message. And the Bible says it's not. But it's the message that will get you into eternal life with God. Which is far more respectable than eternal life with Satan. It's your choice today. Let me lay it down plain and simple. You can die and go with God, or you can die and go with Satan. To go be with God, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. To go with Satan, do whatever you want outside of Jesus Christ. Heaven by Jesus Christ, Satan, whatever you want to do, do it without Jesus Christ. How's that for a simpleton? But we have another problem about going to heaven. Everybody thinks they're going to go to heaven. And they're not going to do it by Jesus Christ. And they've been lied to. So you will fall off into hell thinking you're okay. Being deceived. And you'll stand before Jesus Christ, the Bible says. And you will proclaim your doings, your works, whatever they be. And the Bible proclaims that Jesus will say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. In what you're doing to get to heaven, that's not approved by God. If what you're doing to get to heaven is not Bible-centered, Jesus Christ himself, who you have rejected, will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But God, I went to church. I can't find in my holy word church as a means of salvation. But God, I gave. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. What do you got to offer? You got something better giving than Jesus Christ. Something that you have done is better than what Jesus Christ has done. I don't believe it. When the Bible says Jesus said, or will say, depart from me, iniquity, you workers of iniquity, whatever you're going to do to get to heaven is not God approved. Whatever you believe, whatever you merit, the Bible says that Jesus says, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And fill in the blank with what you think is better than what Jesus has done. Fill in the blank. Who has believed our report? Not many of you. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? To all of you. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And as a root 
out of the dry ground. He has no form or comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. I wonder where you find that. A man of sorrow, acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He is despised and rejected. Smitten of God and afflicted. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Do you dare to have the nerve to stand up to God and say what you're doing is better than what Jesus done? Do you dare to say what pityness you have and what you can do is better than what Jesus has done? When I go to heaven by Jesus Christ, I get a body that's not going to hurt like it's hurting right now. The Bible says those who go to heaven by Jesus Christ will get a brand new body without sin, without misery, without pain, without tears. And you're going to think that what you can do can outdo what God has promised you by Jesus Christ. A body that is holy. A body that is righteous. A body that will never, ever, ever sin again. Oh God, I'm so much better than you. And when I look at that glorified Jesus Christ in New Jerusalem, I'm going to see the marks still in his hands. The holes in his feet because of my iniquities that are long gone. You put Jesus Christ on that cross as much as I have. And your faith and your belief to get to heaven must be on that finished work. All other belief and faiths end up in the depths of hell forever. You're not going to survive with what you believe you can do to get to heaven. And if you think you're going to heaven because you're going to heaven, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you are a liar. And you need to look at yourself in the mirror and point yourself out in the mirror and say, in order to get to heaven, I must believe on Jesus Christ. And if you will not believe on Jesus Christ, you point yourself in the mirror and say, Buddy, you're going to hell. The mirror won't lie to you. We don't want to look at the mirror of the Bible. See, when you open the pages of the Bible, it will tell you you're a sinner. And as a sinner, you have no hope. No hope to go to heaven. 
You believe it on Jesus? No. Then you don't have no hope at all. You're mean. How oh, dare you tell me I'm not going to heaven because I won't believe in Jesus. You're a mean man. You don't preach like my preacher preaches. You're not like my church. You preach that Jesus and only that Jesus. You better believe it. Because that Jesus is the only Jesus who will get you to heaven. Wouldn't it be great, people, if you found out that you and your pastor and your priest went into hell together for all eternity, believing the same lie? Come on, there are more preachers in hell. Turn the radio on to AM, AM, FM radio. You'll find preachers in hell on those stations. The Christian television moment. They'll find preachers in hell on those channels. But very few will you find the preachers that will get up and stand up and say, Jesus is the way. That's what Jesus said. Jesus is the truth. That's what Jesus said. And Jesus is the life. That's what Jesus said. And there is no access to God the Father without Jesus Christ. That's what Jesus said. Now, if I was a radio, TV, personality preacher here, there'd be a number across the screen for you to call and give money. I'm not here for your money. I'm here for you to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There's only one name I want you to know. My name is of no importance but the name of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone is able and will save your soul if you put your faith and trust in Jesus only. Now I'm not saying go to church. You go to church to grow in the Lord after you're saved. To learn more about the Lord. To learn more about your life. But as far as salvation, church can't save you. To save you is to put your faith in trust. For with the heart, man believes on their righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. He said, what do you do with that loud mouth? I'm confessing Jesus. Why? Because he's in my heart. Romans 10, 9 and 10. I can't but shut up about Jesus. It's eternal life. It's a wonderful life. It's a great life. It's a holy life. It's a righteous life. It is Jesus' middle character. The way, the truth, and the life. How is Satan in the world taking care of you? How well is Satan in the world? The world will put a soldier on a battlefield and make him sleep out in the woods. And yet the Bible says for the Christian, I'll never leave thee or forsake thee. The worst thing for a Christian is to die, and yet that's not the worst thing. The Bible says if you're to die, to be absent with the body and present with the Lord. How you feeling about that? Would you love to die right now? Do you have the satisfaction of eternal life? These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. Are you a Catholic? Or would you love to die right now as a Catholic? And of assurance of your doctrine, your traditions, and your church. Do you know where you will go when you die?
Does your religion have eternal hope? Eternal hope is in Jesus. Eternal life is in Jesus. In heaven that not everybody's going. You actually forgive me, but my back is killing me, so. In heaven, look at that body in the mirror. And in heaven, by Jesus Christ, you will get a new body. Brand new. Without aging. There is no oil of way in heaven. Your remedy for aging is Jesus Christ. No more wrinkles. No more sin. No more tears. No more pain. No more medicine cabinets. No more pharmacies. You may have a doctor in heaven, but you will not need him no more. No more artificial preservatives. Red dyes, number fives. No more fatness. No more gingivitis. No more diabetes. No more hospitals. No more police departments, jails, crimes. The crimes in New Jerusalem, New Jerusalem is zero percent. Thank you. And that's all obtained by Jesus Christ, the Blessed. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Your priest cannot do that. We stay here week after week after week preaching about hell because we don't want you to go there. But heaven by Jesus Christ is 400 quintillion times better than hell. There's darkness in hell. And yet in heaven there is eternal light. There is no darkness or shadow ever in the street of Jerusalem, New Jerusalem. always a good holy time in New Jerusalem. You won't need alcohol and pills in New Jerusalem. You'll be high on Jesus in the highest place ever to be before God in his throne. There is no cost in New Jerusalem. There is no taxes in New Jerusalem. There are no guns in New Jerusalem. I just lost half of you already. Complete gun control and peace in New Jerusalem. You know, in America today, you don't know what's going to happen at the moment. You're not safe at the mall anymore. School is not a place of freedom anymore. Because you've taken Jesus out of the equation. You spend more money for a military force in a school, the protection that can't protect, and you can't even read the clock. There are no clocks in New Jerusalem. There is no more time in New Jerusalem. Time stops for hell and for heaven. Sorry to say, in New Jerusalem, you will forever see the marks of your sin upon Jesus. That's it. There will be no scars in our body. No birthmarks. No freckles. 
in our bodies, pure and clean, never need a bath, no more deodorant. Don't try that now. And yet, in hell, you wish you would be able to swing out your armpits to put it on your tongue. That man in hell said, oh, this is a little drop of water to cool my tongue. Oh, if I could just sweat my armpit to get a little bit of sweat to put it on my tongue. No. You'll be in heaven fresh and clean before Jesus Christ with a perfect and holy voice to sing to Jesus. You'll have a crackling voice in hell complaining and griping and yelling and screaming. There are no children in heaven. And there are no children in hell. Now let me say, children that die today, they grow up. And we will all have the same kind of body, the same gear about the body. If it's like the Lord Jesus, about 30 years old body. I'm not saying God will not reject, God will reject children. No, we get a mature, sinless body. In heaven there is singing and praising. In hell there is groaning and gnashing of teeth. And in heaven you can see. Hell, you can't see nothing in darkness. Oh, I'm going to party with my friends. You won't see them. And again, you cannot say, oh, I'm going to heaven. You're not going to heaven if you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not go without Jesus Christ. You will not go with religion. You will not stand before God in your own righteousness. It will not work. You need the righteousness of God and that righteousness is Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ to get to heaven. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. It's the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. If you do not have Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are not safe. You are not saved. And you are not going to heaven. If you are saved, you are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. If you were to die, you'll be absent from this body and present with your Savior, Jesus Christ. If the rapture happens, you'll go. If you die without Jesus Christ, you'll wake up in hell. If the rapture happens, you'll stay. And your leader will be in charge of the world.
For God so loved the world. God is love. That's what the Bible says. God is love. There is no love without God. Oh, I wish they turned down this way. And yet the love of God is Jesus Christ for the lost man. And if you do not know God, you can know Him today by Jesus Christ. You can know the love of God by knowing Jesus Christ. And you can have assurance of your soul by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. You today can be saved by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And have your name written down in the last book of life. But if you believe in anything else besides Jesus Christ, you are not saved, you are not safe, and you will not go to heaven. The cure for your sin is the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord I don't say I hope so to go to heaven. I know so. I don't say I think I'm saved. I know I'm saved. If I were to be asked, how are you going to heaven? I would only answer by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now how can you top that? What can you do better than what Jesus has already done? When Jesus said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And you would say that everybody's going to heaven to God. And I tell you by the Bible, not everybody's going to heaven. Because they don't want to do what God has told them to do. And the Bible and God says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and confession is made unto salvation. And that God is not willing that any should perish. God wants you to repent and turn from your sins through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other way to God. 
And you're going to try God. And you're going to test God. And you're going to defile the preaching of God. I know you are. And you're going to hear God tell you, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. The way that God knows you is you knowing Jesus. You can go to Bible college all your life and know the whole Bible. And you can be Dr. So-and-so. And if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you don't know nothing. And you'll be a doctor of DD in hell burning without Jesus. And you can be the highest member of your church and not know Jesus. And still you will not be exalted in the gates of hell because they won't see you in darkness. I mean, come on, that's plain and simple. Heaven, you get a brand new body. Hell, you get a new body too. I won't describe you what the Bible says about the hell body, but in heaven you get no more pain. In hell you get torment. Come on, if someone were to ask you for the rest of your life, would you want pain or no pain? And I'm putting that offer to you today by Jesus Christ. Now salvation is not going to end your pain now. How about when eternity, when time runs out and there is no more time? And all you would do is have no pain. Or you can have all pain. No pain without uh, no pain with Jesus. Or all pain without Jesus. A brand new body with Jesus. I guess you get a new body in hell, but you can't enjoy it. Joy unspeakable with Jesus? Or tormenting without Jesus? The gift of God's eternal life. And that eternal life is Jesus Christ, our Lord. After you die. There is nothing that can wash away your sin but the Lamb of God. You have got to deal with your sin. And there is nothing you can do with your sin. But you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be washed. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world.
What can wash away your sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What is your righteousness? Nothing but Jesus. When the Bible says there is none righteous, no, not one. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good, how good do you have to be to outmatch Jesus? You can't. Because the Bible says there is none that doeth good. Righteousness and holiness be paired before God. Be holy, God says, for I am holy, God said. And yet the Bible says about you, there is none righteous. No, not, not one. You got a big gap between you and God. You fall short of God. And the only mediator between God and man is the man Christ Jesus. I mean, look at me. My body's already worn out. Back is sore, legs are tired. But a new body, God's promised those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. A new life, heaven, by Jesus Christ. It's faith and trust and belief in Jesus, not you. Too many people think heaven is about them. It's about Jesus. I'm almost assuring we will not find your name in the Bible. First, middle, and last. But oh, I will find Jesus Christ in the Bible. The blessed name Jesus. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Again, Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is not willing that any should perish. And yet there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Come on to me, all ye that are heavy laden and burning. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. God and Jesus Christ are reaching out to you when the gospel is being preached and presented to you. God is reaching out to your sinful soul for cleansing. And God's the only one that can cleanse your soul of your sin. 
Religion cannot clean you. Works are not satisfied to God. You are not good enough and will never be good enough. You are not righteous. The only way to approach God in those aspects is through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said you must be born again. You were born in your sins. In order to get to God, you have to be cleansed of your sins. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And I didn't mention any religion. I didn't mention any work but the work of Jesus, the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day. According to the scriptures. And the question is, what must I do to get out of hell? What must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. If you are led by the shepherd, you are led by the Savior. And that Savior is God, that Savior is Jesus Christ. There is no substitution for salvation. Religion is an artificial preservative not respected by God. Religion only adds worse to the torments. <laughs> Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's plain and simple. There is no other way but Jesus. There is no other hope but Jesus. There is no other life but Jesus. And by Jesus it is free and free indeed. Repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn or burn. That's simple. There's only one man to be trusted with your soul. And that man is the man Christ Jesus. There is no mediator between God and man but the man Christ Jesus. Pilate said, behold the man. That man that's 100% man and 100% God. And he able, he only, is to be able to wash your sins and to be clean before God. 